Uh, welcome back again everyone. Um, this is a, I suppose, a second part video to the last video, which is the um, weather vane repair I did. Um, what's happened, I'll show you in the photo now, um, that it doesn't have north, south, east and west on it. It looks a bit bare. So what I'm going to do a retrofit, because I don't have to unbolt it off the roof. So I'll retrofit um, a part that will slide over the top and you tighten it up with a um, grub screw just to hold some of the letters on there. So I'll make it out of a piece of, just a piece of mild steel. Um, I'll make it so it slips over the shaft, um, do a grub screw to tighten it down. And I'll have these parts here, like on four spots with the letters on there. And I'll cut the letters out of just a piece of, I think this is about two millimeter, we can't see that, just out of a bit of two millimeter um, sheet steel. I'll just, I've printed these out on the, um, print them out on the printer and use them as a template. And I'll just trace them on and then cut them out with the angle grinder. I was going to use the bandsaw, but it's a bit thin for the bandsaw blade. It might jam up. So I think the grinder will probably be the best option. Right, first part, we'll head to the lathe and turn up the little spacer that's got to go on first. All right, first thing we'll do, we'll set this up in the chuck. It doesn't have to be very wide. So I'm thinking 30 mil should be plenty. That'll give me enough to hold in the chuck. And all I'll do, I'll clean up the front face and then I'll just turn a bit on the AD just to clean it all up. Okay, the shaft I'm it's going to slide onto. So that'll be that bore we've got to bore out. I think it was 19 mil. Yep. Right. So we'll get a boring bar and set that up and we'll bore that out. Right, I've got this piece of um, bar, that's actually what the um, uh, wind vane's sitting on, so that's the diameter we need to make it. So I'm just going to keep going until I get it to fit in. No specific size with that, as long as it slides on really easy. Just got a bit more there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Makes you a really good fit. Even when I didn't measure it. Alright. I'll just start parting that off. And I'll just share for the edges. Oh, 
30 mil long. There was plenty of meat to play with then. Okay, we'll head over to the mill now and we'll drill and tap for the grub screw hole. Alright, we'll set this up in the mill, that way we can drill a hole and tap it M6 I think I was going to do it. And the tap, yes, yes it was M6. So this is a 1364th drill. So what I'll do to set it up, I'll just put it in the vise and eyeball it. Um, I'll use this board hole we got, so if you can see that, yeah, you can pretty well get it close if you line it up just in the middle of the bore. So I'll do that when I put it in the vise. Okay, that's about the middle. We'll see how we go without center punching it. I hope the drill wasn't, doesn't wander too much. Just eyeball that as well. Alright, let's see what happens. Take it slow to start with, just so the drill finds its own centre. I'll take this drill out. I could power tap it in there just using the, the mill, but not too keen on that. Let's snap it. Give that a blast with some fresh air just to clean it. Let's see if it fits. if it's good. Well, what I was thinking about doing as well, let's take this out of the vise first. What I was thinking about doing was because I've got to put this long bit of bar on here with a, um, I'll cut them off 
of a length, I'm not sure yet. Um, I was going to drill a hole right through the whole thing. That way I could just put these in partially in and weld them. That way they'll be nice and square with one another. There's be nothing worse, you start welding it and then they'll start bending and kinking and won't look square. So I'll set this up again and I'll drill a hole. I think that that's about 6.3 millimeter. I think that's a quarter. So I'll set that back up and drill more holes. Just four more holes. Let's do the same again. I'll eyeball all that. Grab a rag. degrees and should be able to get the other two holes in. Okay just to make that easier to line up. I might take that drill out and just slide it back through the hole that'll give me a Bit of a reference. Okay, that's better. Now I can use the drills to line up 90 degrees. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll give that a bit of a deburn here, and then we'll start the next part of it. Right, this part here is all done. Um, I've cut these rods at 200 mil long, so that's where the ladders will sit on. Um, the reason why I drilled holes in this is to make it easier to weld, because if you're trying to weld that, trying to keep it all at the right angles, when you've got a welding mask and stuff on, it's a bit hard, so I thought oh, I'll just drill some holes. These rods will fit in nice and neat. They all should be square with one another. They won't, won't look odd. Get that in there. Right, so that's how it'll look. They won't be in the hole there, but you get the idea. So that way I can just easily just run a weld around them. Don't have to worry about holding them so they're all nice and square to one another. 
to save a bit of time. Right, next part, I need to cut these letters out. So I'll trace these onto here and I'll just use an angle grinder and we'll cut them out. And then we can start welding it all up. Alright, I'll trace these out and then I'll hit it with the angle grinder just to cut them out. Now I probably won't show you the whole doing all the letters because it might get a bit boring. You know, noisy angle grinder in the background, so I'll just probably do snippets of each one. Alright, let's get started. Well, I got all the letters cut out, and they come out all right. Actually, the S was the hardest one because the um, grinding wheel doesn't like going round corners, so I took a bit of filing and a bit of a bench grinder just to make them nice and round. All right, next part we've got to do. We need to weld these on. So I'm thinking we just have to use the MIG welder and just tack them on. All right, we'll get set up for that. to welding onto this this piece here now so we'll put that in there make sure everything's up the right way okay I'm just going to use a, a stick welder this time there was just a lot of splatter with the MIG welder the MIG welder is um, gasless and because of the flux in the wire it just tends to spray everywhere it took a bit to clean up all the splatter marks that were on there so I'll just use a stick welder Turn the water on. Actually turned out all right. 
So what I'll do now, I'll give the letters a coat of paint. I'll do them in red so they stand out when they're in the sky. And I might do this part here grey. And I'll let it dry. And we'll go out and shoot the rest of the video um, when it's installed. And we'll see how it looks compared to what it was without it. Alright, so I'll come back when I'm ready to install it. Okay, a bit of change of plan. Um, I was going to go and shoot some video on me installing the um, wind vane but it actually just rained so I've only got a few um, photos so I'll put them in just towards the end of the video um, so you can see the before and after it actually turned out really good so I'll leave them in now and thanks for watching